I've been told not to talk about politics. However, I don't think Democrats should get, should have ever gotten into race. First, they elect a black leader from Hawaii. When the West Coast itself only has 2 million black people, check it out on Google. Uh, we have 50 million Latinos. They got a wall built with their stupidity. Now Trump wants, now Biden. Oh, should I call you Danny Chips? Stupid on purpose. Uh, comedian, but not good. Uh, funny because you're the only person that never, your dad loved you because you didn't cause him pain. And then you went and married a Mormon girl who's a slave owner from Britain. Check out Utah, but it's biggest British population. Like I said, to a black man, if you have a black woman who's planning on moving to Utah because of safe demographics, I have better ideas. One of them would be, um, God, oh, I'm trying to think. Well, and, and they do have a somewhat violent rate, but I go to Mississippi. <sighs> Mississippi's kind of in between. I wouldn't go to Alabama, no. Mississippi, actually, Mississippi, Brighton, uh, What's that stupid play by Neil the Jute? I don't want to get anti-Semitic, but I'm really getting more and more anti-Semitic. The more and more Democrats talk about African Americans, the more and more I'm... Because my issue is not with African Americans. My issue is with Hollywood. Period. So I'm looking at Virginia. Virginia has a very bright intellectual base. The reason I wasn't going to move to uh, Virginia Beach, I was looking at Virginia Beach... Love it. Uh, floor plans of the houses are nice. Uh, people are well-educated. However, even the most educated people fall victim to Hollywood. And I was watching one of these class. I have a big problem with um, race theory classes if they're not taught by the right professor. I like to see a good mix of academia. I like to see a good draw of academia, uh, American history, um, African history, multicultural history. I'm not just going to be looking at fucking goddamn United States. And that's a big problem with BLM. You guys are not looking at financing. You know, guys aren't looking at Nigeria, what's going on in Africa, what, what's going on in goddamn... I'm looking at goddamn fucking everything. I can't stop. So I'm listening to Biden. Not only is he bad at multicultural affairs, he's actually going to put the caucus for African Americans in South Carolina. I would think um, Virginia, is it, is it West Virginia or Virginia that has Virginia Beach? God, I'm, I've, I've covered this so many times I'm exhausted. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to move. The only reason I'm not moving to Virginia or Virginia Beach is, okay, when they accept one group of minorities, they reject the other, right? So Virginia Beach has a good, um, post gay marriage, they have a good superficial... They have a good superficial gay community. Now, I don't want to fall into the rut of being, but, you know, I'm 50. Not a lot of people hit on me, and I get people that are, like, my age, allegedly. I'm also getting a lot of straight people online who are playing games. So the whole political thing has been, uh, well, black people are concerned if black people are black or not. I would suggest anyone with a black Irish name who's connected to Sharon Ma Osborne ain't your friend. That's what I think. That's what I think. Um... I loved Harlem. I, God damn, I almost want to move back to New Jersey. I said, I'm just, I'm too fucking tired. I'm going to have a heart attack from these people on the West Coast. And they're bullshit. I'm ready to move, though. So I just, I'm trying to find some place that's just quiet. I can't put up with this crap anymore. Biden is a fucking idiot, fucking dick, paid off by Soros. And I'm so mad about the riots. And I'm so mad because I was like, there's plenty of times I said something when BLM was reacting. And I was like, it started out well. So did um, I love the Occupy movement. I like I liked the I, I I got drunk and walked. I tried to walk all the way to Portland and I made it. I made it all the way to past Woodburn. I made it all the way to Oregon City walking. I was that angry because those ideas were stolen from me by a woman named Catherine Stover, who paid off Jeremy of the Oregon Census Alliance and took abortion away from women. Now that one's true. These, these Democrats sell you out faster than fucking bullshit. So anyway, so he's going to do South Carolina. I don't know why. And I don't know why West Virginia, not West Virginia. My only issue with West Virginia was I watched a class on racial theory. And they used goddamn poetic justice. Since when has Janet Jackson said anything that resembled she had an IQ? That's like me 
as like let's say I want to be transgendered going to Caitlyn Jenner who's a fetishist and not gay and asking about you know hookup techniques with guys he's a fetishist I have a joke about it in my coming thing there's a guy with black nail hands fingernails I designed them actually in New York and he goes talk to the hand talk to the hand and he's in prison and he's a Black Panther leader so Sorry, I'm not making fun of Black Panthers, but there's a guy named Evil. It's like South Park. And he goes, um, why do you got black girl nails? And he goes, because I'm a black fetishist and it keeps me from chopping off black girls' hands. <laughs> so, the, difference, the difference between male fetishism and gay men trying to hook up with a man by by using gender misappropriation or not misappropriation. It should, I, I'm sorry, wrong. Transgenderism, now that we're accepting of that. Although I also have straight women pretending to be transgender misusing the topic on Grindr, Pat of Portland State University. I can't tell who's transgender and who just has fake tits from California these days. Um, it is a smoke and mirror show and pony game. But South Carolina, I'm not getting upset. This bitch couldn't get fucking, he couldn't, he's not, he doesn't even, he's not interested. His name is Biden, as in Biden time. He's a joke already. And Trump, as in worthless but he took everything i said and misused it and there were some reasons for things i say that weren't based well on camille Paglia. and it was just frustration with dealing with women who want everything but won't realize how men work so meet me halfway but sister you won't you won't susan chips you ran off to the f i don't even fucking care where you go i don't care when you die don't call me i'm moving on i'm so done with you guys you have caused Walmart shootings. I made a joke to a to a security guard yesterday. I said, what? Should you pat me down or should you pat your managers down? And I think we should keep it up with these people. They have provided nothing. You make fun of them openly. And if they go, <gasps> there's not enough. There's just not enough people to care anymore. Thanks to this con game. It's a con game. Obama, Hillary. And you're halfway through Obama. I was just like, why did, I, why did I get into it? I, actually, I really didn't pay attention to where it was from. And then I was like, Hawaii. And then I looked at demographics. And then I looked at... And I'm like, oh, fraud. Fraud, just like just like Elizabeth Warren, who resembles every woman we know who broke up with a husband who was conservative-minded, who... I'm sorry, libertarian. Libertarian. Let's talk about that. Republican men who didn't want to go to church and want to smoke pot, but still were very conservative and wanted to keep their bitches down. How progressive really were 60s feminists, Margaret? Doesn't, I don't know. I don't know. Margaret was a woman my mom was friends with, with Frances Nichols. Jerry Nichols, who went to school allegedly. I don't even know if he did, because there's so many things that don't check about Stephen Chips. He went out, I have pictures. He went out with a girl named Rachel and put it online. I want to know what happened to her. He said he, she died mysteriously of a heroin overdose. Plenty of weird shit happens around Stephen Chips. I'll tell you that much. The golden child of Catholicism who put his wiener in my mouth. What happened to her? When did you go to UCLA? Did you? Where's your degree? I heard you try to get in with your wife. Is she the only one that went to school? Judge Chips? Very proud of you about UCLA. I don't, nothing checks with you. Nothing checks. Like, okay, so the photos I see, and then you're with me about the same age, and I'm about two or three. But it really happened, Steve. You you fed me all this shit about UCLA. My mom did too. Did she actually go? Did she get a master's there? You and Chad met at the UCLA program. When you went to get your master's in business, and you couldn't get in... Uh, you wanted to get in and be a Merrill Lynch accountant, and then your appendix burst. There's a story. Trying to keep up with your wife. Then when we went to visit your wife, she has the picture of the Wicked Witch. I guess that's her, right? Wicked Witch of the West, her. Really? Your story doesn't check. I want you checked out by the police. Is there Interpol? He's a fucking child murderer. He's a child rapist. Pretty sure should be behind bars. He's also a big con artist. 
he plays games, he hires people. He, oh God, he's so, he's such a fraudster. I mean, and that's, since COVID, I have had to deal with, suddenly one day I went out and there's a bunch of red cars. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? They're not moving. Here's what's going on. They're not moving the shit they have in the car lots around here. So Trudy Duarte over here, I call her Trudy Duarte because she's Ross IGA. Ross IGA has money in Malaysia. My Aunt Susie, who ran upstairs when I was raped, suddenly wanted to run away to Australia. Ross IGA. She thought she was going to get a special deal with Trudy Duarte. Well, Trudy finally paid her off and gave her a trip to New Zealand. Based on... This is twisted. Sail away. Sail. I hate Enya. I think any guy does. So everything you hear in a bad beach shop, right? Growing up with your grandma. And then when you're a gay guy and you can't escape these fucking fat bitches and you're not taken seriously by the man or the police force, you get a job at a gift shop, right? I just got mine at French Quarter. I'm like, Glenn. Sail away, sail away, sail away. So this bitch got a fucking free trip to New Zealand where there are no harassment laws. Meanwhile, she's paying off people, Trudy Duarte, and Ross IGA to harass me. Isn't that right, Trudy Duarte? Herzog Godfrey. Her, not Duarte, but it's Herzog. Is her real name? And Godfrey. German Jew. Isn't that right? Ross IGA has... A store next to my friend Amber Cunningham, which I think is an alias. I think she's another fucking bullshitter. She came over from her and Stacy and her sister Melissa. Now, what, I can't remember the last names, but I suddenly run into these bitches again. Now, they're always playing a con down here, aren't you? You conned me out of my master's program. You, Liz Sharman, is that really your name? After the toilet paper we couldn't get during. Were you hired for your last name? Do you even know why you were hired around here? Do you even know graphic design? Because your portfolio sucks. Look at mine online. Where's it getting me? Whose dick did you suck at PSU? Was it Bill Laporis? Was it Horia Bobias from the Romanian Mafia? Huh? Let's blow all your covers. Oh, then you got Sue Taylor from the Chicago School. This hemorrhaging people of right and left. Bitch doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Postmodernism doesn't mean shit. Postcolonialism. Are we letting... Are we bringing more African Americans in or are we sending the artwork back? That, that's my statement. Because I think you're full of shit. South Carolina is a bullshit state to pick, Biden. You should have picked probably Virginia. Was Is it West Virginia or Virginia with Virginia Beach? That's the one he should have picked. Probably too close to Washington, D.C., so he had to pick South Carolina. Um, what about Alabama? What about Mississippi? There's a lot of black people there. What about Louisiana? What about, well, Texas has an equal amount of, it's also just really fucked up. Sorry. Thank you, George Friedman. You're a genius. You're a genius. You love, you love conflict. Not me. You do. Then he goes and moves back to Turkey. Any Arab that's going to listen to that motherfucker is just nuts. I got great ideas for you, and I believe I've been talking about them online. Let's flip the script, keep the peace, and get the Silk Road shit built. But he, he probably can't even fucking do that. He probably can't even. X is you can pay me. I don't think you think you can get it up anymore. I big ideas are bullshit. I already know that one. So I'm just for keeping the peace and moving forward. But if you want to go back to the eighties and do World War Three like Aunt Kinder and Brunel Kinder Turner. How many names do these women get? I wish I could poke Pogo Dick, Pogo Dick, Pogo Dick, I hope it sticks. Pogo Dick, Pogo Dick, Pogo Dick, I hope it sticks. So, how many fucking names can you come up with and where can you go with this shit? You did not move to Arkansas. You're a liar. You're a liar. You sent me a postcard. How heartfelt. Last Christmas from Arkansas. Arkansas is based on the deliverance. Is that how you feel about me? Is that how you feel about homosexual men? Is that a little stab in the back? Squeal like a pig. I'm kind of over it. Um, the main star, Angelina Jolie's dad, stars in the film Deliverance. She's now Prince. I'm so over this shit. She's Maleficent, where she saves black men. She's the she's the Slav fairy. Shouldn't that be me? Shouldn't that be me? Why are you stealing my fucking roles, bitch? What? Do any bigger lives? 
Angelina Jolie. Sorry, not making fun of black people. She is. Angelina Jolie in her next fairy film. God, fuck her. So, what is, is this a big joke for you guys? You're incompetent, Biden. You should get out of office right now and take that laughing, giggling bitch with you. This is a takeover. This is, it should be. I'm just saying, shouldn't it be a takeover? Should we just take it over? He's incompetent. He's stupid. We got um, people, my mom's, I just took care of my mom. I'm the real fucking deal. I haven't hurt anybody. He has. He's a fucking idiot. This is not leadership. And he didn't get in office for the fair. He got in office through Soros. He got in through office through riots. He got in office through right payoffs and people on drugs that had no idea what they were doing or what the consequences would be. And here we are. Meanwhile, people like my mom are, um, it's really disgusting. I just watched, watched a special on last night. Uh, difference between assisted living and assisted living and people who need real medical care. And they're not getting it under Biden. I didn't, they're not getting it. I just saw somebody like left out by a fucking goddamn bus stop as a joke by these fucking goddamn gangs working under Oregon Citizens Alliance in Germany. It's disgusting. These people need to be overthrown. They need to throw another house. They should live in the street. What does it take? A bunch of people with guns just taking over your house, Jeremy? I mean, they can turn on you anytime. Your friends. They're not mine. But you seem to be networked with both the police and um, gangs. They can all turn on you, baby. Should Jeremy's daughters hook in the street? Is my next question. I don't think you guys laughed. I think you're a bunch of liars. And here's what I think happened. Last year at Christmas, when there was this planned bombing in Tennessee, you sent me a nice little fucking Christmas card from Arkansas. Arkansas is allegedly also where the Clintons come from. That I don't even know. If, I can't back that story. I don't even know. I don't have jack shit. I know jack shit really about the Clintons. So he said, I know that th that Bill Clinton looks a lot like Kennedy. And that's why we fell for it, right? So he sent me this goddamn postcard. And I read it. And I was like, oh, I miss you so much. I did, actually. And then I was like, wait a minute. Gabriel Mendoza. The Latino I dated, I worked my ass off, and then did two and a half degrees, and got him a job at Miramax that he lost because of Madonna, you know, that, all that Me Too shit. He's an idiot. And I have, no, I have nothing, I know nothing about Harvey Weinstein. All I know is allegedly he beat somebody up for a script. And I think it was Life of Pi. Allegedly it was heard. He kicked the shit out of somebody on the street for a script and to get the rights to it. Does that mean he raped people? I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust these movements because I was raped. And if you go back to the McMartin cases, the woman who starts it all was actually a rape victim. And the kids started mirroring her. And it created a whole cascade effect. And it was done on purpose. And the person that hired that woman that was raped up did it on purpose. And I'm pretty sure it was Judith Chips, the same woman covering up Stephen Chips and my child rape. So, Ann Kinder, did you really go to, everyone's going like, I'm crazy, but there, suddenly there's a black guy that was working a plaid under the lesbians that work with um, Pinnacle Theater, Louise Larson, who was connected to Dole Farms and probably got Roseanne Barr, her far, macadamia farm nut, right? So, you sent me a card, this is so dishonest to do after my mom's death. She sends me a card from Arkansas, but I know one thing. Gabriel's sister, who looks a lot like Camille Paglia, who got Bill Maher his job, sexual persona, who is the head of Philadelphia Academic School, that's alleged sister that doesn't look anything like him. But, you know, his, the mother's white, dad's Mexican. I've seen old photos, but I can't really substantiate. I don't know these people, really. I can't substantiate anything. I do know most... Latinos have a middle name. So Gabriel Mendoza, that always start, struck me as off. You don't have a middle name. Not even, I have David Andrew Chips. Most Latinos have blah, 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 Taurus. No middle name. I mean, come on. It's like saying hello, we're conning you. 
So, and he always said, it's easy to call them Slavs. My mom held the fact that I'm Slovene from me. Slovene, Slav. And he knew that. Also, my mom did not know she had a hole in her heart. That's how she died. And Kaiser Permanente kept that from her. Isn't that right? Kamala Harris, who is directly involved with Kaiser Permanente. So, Gabriel's sister married a black man. She has a son named Patrick. I think I met the father at Ross at um, Plant Pantry. His mother lives in Arkansas. So Anne, you sent her a letter, and she mailed me the letter from where she lived, huh? I ain't stupid, bitch. I know your cons. These women would con men out of anything, and fuck you, Anne, if that's what you did. And don't blame Don Kinder. And if Don Kinder's behind us, he was he was on my. I think I saw him on Grinder with his boyfriend. Bitch, your marriage lies on my back and my child rape. I want you to know that. And I want you to know when they're coming for you and when they fucking gas you. Because they will turn on you. This is bullshit.